Hi folks, welcome to Open Source Options. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can find the shape of a Python list or a tuple. It's really easy to do. Let's get started. So first, let's go ahead and we'll make a tuple. Um, I'll call it my tuple. And it's going to equal something like 1, 2, 2, 4, 6, 5, 3. Okay. Um, now, if you don't know the difference between a list and a tuple, um, you can change a list. You can't change a tuple. That's a brief explanation. Um, you can look it up somewhere else as well. Okay. Now, if I want to get the shape of this tuple, what I can do is let's print len my tuple. Okay. Now, you'll notice here that my tuple has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elements in it. Okay, so I should get seven here. I'm going to come and I'm going to go to run, click run, and I'm going to run this example, the shape example script. And when I do that, you can see down here my length is indeed seven. All right, so that's easy enough. You only have a one dimensional list or a tuple, that's really easy to do. But it can get more complicated. And the reason it gets more complicated is because each element in a tuple or a list can be a tuple or a list. Let me give you an example. We'll call this my tuple 2D. Um, even though it's not 100% 2D, it's going to have other elements. So let's go like 1, 4, 3. And let's make another tuple inside the tuple, which we can go 2, 3, 4. Um, and we'll make another one which we can call, um, I don't know, do two, 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 one. All right. Now, if I print the length of my tuple 2D, um, what number do you think I'll get? Well, I'm going to get three. There are actually nine elements here. There are three tuples, and each tuple has three elements in it. Let's even make this a little more complicated just to show you the nuances. Let's put another number in there. Let's take one out of there, and let's put um, one in the middle here. It's not even a tuple, and it just has one number. Now let's print the length of my tuple 2D again. And you can see it has four elements. Well, I have four elements inside of this tuple. I have two inside of this. There's one here and there's three here, but all I'm getting is that I have one tuple, a second tuple, an integer, and then another tuple, so I have four total elements. Well, how can we get at that? Well, let's go ahead and uh, write a loop to do this. So, if we want to get the first dimension, so let's go um, print first dimension, and this is going to be just the length of my tuple 2D. And then let's go print second dimensions. And the way we can get this is by looping through everything in the tuple. And for a list, this works the same way. Your list is just going to have square brackets on the end of it instead of parentheses. So let's go for um, i in my tuple 2D. And we're going to print the length of i. Okay. And now let's go ahead and click run. All we should get is we'll get first dimension will be four, and then we'll get the length of each individual element within that tuple. So let's go ahead and click run. And we have an error. And so you'll notice we get this error that says int has no len. Right, so an integer, we can't call length on an integer because it's not an iterable feature. It only contains one element 
Um, it's not like a list. So even trying to do that, we run into a problem. And I wanted to show you that for a reason so that you can see kind of how difficult it is to get the length of these nested tuples. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to come back to that and how to solve that problem in a future video. Right now, we're just going to get the length of these. So I'm going to go ahead and click Run here. And you can see that I get um, four, two, three as those lengths. Okay. Now, another way to do this um, that takes a little less code is to do use a list comprehension, which will make a list out of this. We'll go len i for i in my tuple 2D. And, uh, oops, let's just, let's call this 2D for second dimension. Oh, there we go. Oh, call it D2, sorry, can't name a variable with the number first. And then let's put D2 there. I'm going to get rid of this loop and I'm going to click run. And there you can see that our first dimension is three and our second dimensions are four, two, and three. Right, all the code for this tutorial is available on opensourceoptions.com and I'll link that code down below. Now in another tutorial, I'm going to go over a function we can create to more specifically get at nested lists, at the lengths of nested lists and tuples, and also figure out how we can account for that problem when we have an integer or a non-list type object uh, inside of the thing we're trying to get the dimensions of. So stay tuned for that. If you found this video useful, um, feel free to give it a like. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me. And like I said, hope you found this useful. Have a great afternoon.